Okay, so it is CASPA time, which means, of course, I'm going to be talking about something having to do with the application. And I do want to point out to you guys that this upcoming Monday, May 17th at 7 p.m., I'm going to be doing a live session for Get That C University with all of the consultants that are on the site so that you guys can get to know them. But also, you all will be privy to our new virtual shadowing program and what that consists of. And so if you're interested in getting virtual shadowing or getting a consulting session and learning more about what Get That CU University has to offer, please stay tuned next week, May 17th at 7 p.m. But with respect to CASPA, I wanna specifically address a question that was posed to me asking me about science courses for science majors. If you haven't heard that before, check this out. What's up, you guys? It's Adana. Welcome back to my channel. So again, I don't know if you've ever heard the statement, you can only get science courses that are, you know, intended for science majors, but that is what this question is about. Um, so if you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe, like my videos, follow me on Instagram, do all that good stuff, because all of those things help my YouTube algorithm out a lot. But I wanted to talk to you about Natasha C's question. She said, hello. I was looking at admission prerequisites for PA school. I noticed that one stated all science courses must be intended for science majors only, not nursing, allied health, kinesiology, exercise science, or health science majors. Could you please further explain what this means? Thank you. So yes, Natasha, I can explain what it means specifically for the schools that I was um, applying to uh, that actually had this prerequisite as one of their I guess you could say things that we needed to do, like their prerequisites. Um, I don't know what it specifically means for your school, but if you necessarily want to know that um, and it's intended for your program that you're trying to apply to, you know what to do, which is research it and then call the program directly, okay? So if ever you guys have any questions about program specific questions, please call the program directly because they will be able to give you the best information. But from my standpoint, when I was applying to programs uh, in PA school way back in the day, <laughs> which really was only three years ago, but when I was applying to PA school, honestly, like there were some that had these same prerequisite requirements. And what that meant was I could not do any um, nursing courses uh, where it, it talked about like my nursing, like nursing science courses to fulfill my prerequisite science requirements for PA school. So let me give you an example for instance. In my undergraduate degree, I was on like the pre-med track, right? I was a biology major, then I switched to a biomedical science major. And while being on that track, I had classes in the health science, like biology department. So it, I was there with all of the chemistry majors and, and you know, the, the actual science, like natural science majors, not the allied health, not those wanting to go into nursing um, or even dentistry, specifically solely like medicine. And so what that meant was all of my classes were with those individuals, really and truly. I never saw any of my nursing friends or colleagues because they were in a completely different building. Although the buildings were connected, it was a completely different building and they co took completely different classes. So the nursing majors were able to take inorganic chemistry when I had to take organic chemistry. And although inorganic chemistry is a science, it would not have fulfilled what I needed for PA school because it was meant for nurses. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense to you. The same thing with my biology class. I was specifically taking biology, but the biology that my nursing friends were taking were diff was different um, and in a completely different building, completely different time than my biology class for the pre-med and solely science majors. So that is what I understood it to be when I spoke to the programs that I was applying to. They did not want me to be getting courses from the allied health. And even if it's listing out some of these things for you, if you're a kinesiology major and you're an allied health major, all right, you've gotten all of your, your science courses for that major, right? But that school may not be the school for you if they're saying that courses in kinesiology will not be accepted because they want 
solely like natural science courses and so you have to be mindful of that if that is something if that's like a purview or that's a realm that you fit in then don't apply to that program you know there's over 200 programs for you to choose from so choose to choose from one that actually like applies to you um, and caters to you I said this in my last video you don't always have to fit the school the school can also fit you that is the beauty of having so many programs available for you to choose from now okay so that is what that meant for me again if you need to have this question answered specifically about that program call the school directly that is the best Best way to get information go directly to the source as you're coming to YouTube and you're looking at all of these YouTube channels that you've subscribed to like mine and others or um, you know there's videos that you've pinned and liked you you're going directly to the source to get that information right and it's the same thing with respect to going directly to the source of the school that's the best place that you can get those answers so if you have any questions about particular classes that you've taken that you may feel don't meet their requirements ask them they're there to help okay they're there to make this process a little bit easier for you all right thank you so much natasha for asking me that question i really appreciate it if you guys have any other questions for me leave them in the comment section below go ahead and like this video subscribe and follow me on instagram at it on the pa and on instagram at get that's the university and be sure to come back next week may 17th when i am going to be doing a live zoom session with all of the consultants of get that's the university and we're going to be unveiling specifically um what our what our virtual shadowing program looks like for you guys because it's revamped okay so be sure to stay tuned for that all right thank you guys so much for watching i will talk to you guys next time